welcome or welcome back to my channel. Wow, happy new year. Happy 2023. I am honestly a little bit nervous. I haven't really done this in a long time. I think the last time I posted a video was in May of last year and my house looked completely different. My office looked completely different. I just have so many updates to share with you guys. But before we get into all of that, let's go make some coffee. Again, I guess we could start with work since we are in my office. Today is a work day and I had actually just gotten out of a few meetings. So let's start with some work updates. I have been with my company for a little over a year now, actually a little over a year and a half. And it's kind of funny because I documented a lot of the beginning of my journey at this job, at my first tech job. And overall, I feel like 2021 was the year that, you know, I started this job and I was trying to get my feet wet and trying to learn all these things about just like being in tech, being in corporate, working a corporate nine to five job. 2022 was I feel like when I really kind of settled into the job. I actually got to experience some other cool things and perks that came with it. Like for example, I was very lucky to have been able to fly out to New York for a week and it was mostly for work, but Sean and I were actually able to take advantage of the trip that I had. And so we came in a couple of days early. We took a red eye Friday night and got there Saturday morning and then Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Day, Sean and I kind of ran around and just explored New York for a little bit before I had to go into the office on Tuesday. Someone please tell me why H&M is this big ass building. Raise your hand like this. Start me? Yeah, you. All right. Hurry up. We have a volunteer. <laughs> I'm a fully remote employee and I was also hired kind of in the peak of COVID so I hadn't really met any of my coworkers yet and although San Francisco is my closest like hub office a lot of my teammates at the time were in New York so it was really cool to just meet everybody and experience what it's like to work a 9 to 5 in New York and do all the fun happy hour things and yeah it's just been really cool to be able to kind of immerse myself in this experience. It's my last full day in New York and the sun came out. Look at how pretty it is. Like I said, working for this company is my first tech job and prior to this, I was doing something completely different. I was in healthcare, I had switched careers in 2021. So there's definitely a lot of things that I, I'm still learning and I have learned in the past year when it comes to my career in general, uh, but I can make a whole ass video for that too. So. You know, we're not going to dive into the super duper deep details. <laughs> Man, what's a vlog without my camera dying and me having to switch out my battery literally in the middle of filming? And also don't mind my office, okay? There's a lot of clutter. We're getting to organizing a few more things around the office and I promise I will show you guys my new office space uh, when it's all ready. But right now there's just a ton of clutter. So the last video that I posted was I believe in June or May of last year. And I think we were still kind of like unpacking and settling in and trying to figure out where like things are supposed to go. I'm pretty sure our walls were still blue. And of course now it looks a little bit different. The house is definitely a lot more furnished. We did paint over the summer. I had a few friends come over and help us with painting. And I also had my cousin come over and help us paint. So that was really fun. <laughs> Inspiration of the college Q&A. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? <laughs> 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 
house in March of 2022. It is now January of 2023, almost a year to the house, and we are not even close to being finished with it, and I don't think we're ever going to be finished with it. But one of the really cool things that I really love about the house that we've done is that Sean custom made our closet, and it was also really cool to see him kind of go through the process. There's a lot more things that we definitely want to do like for example you can see that the closet is not done it is still blue and it's blue for a reason it's because we're going to be renovating this closet as well um, and that's why we didn't want to bother wasting paint on like a wall that we're eventually going to change up and stuff. I've also made some changes to my office but I have really just added so many things to my space that make it feel a lot more, I don't know how to explain it, but just a lot more inviting for me at least. I feel like because I work from home, I have no shame in investing in certain pieces that make me want to be in my space and want to be in my office. I'm here literally majority of the day, so I wanted to make sure that the space was inviting to me and that, you know, I felt good being in it. I've even invested in a walking pad, which is behind me, um, because I had definitely been feeling like a couch potato. I feel like my step count has been super low. And although I'm not quite running on it like a regular treadmill, I do plan on just upping my step count with it. It doesn't have to be at, at like a ridiculously high speed. I can just kind of walk at a steady pace and still do my work. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to just kind of using that a little bit more. I think those are kind of all the home updates I have for you guys, but I'm definitely excited to see how much of our space evolves this year. Overall, I feel like 2022 was just filled with so much growth. I had a friend post on his Instagram story uh, maybe like a couple months ago or so and said that 2022 was like a repotting type of like year. If you think about plants, you know, when you repot them, sometimes they go into shock. Sometimes they even look like they're just dying. They don't seem like they're really liking the environment, but after a while, you'll see the benefits of actually putting them into that new environment and they actually start to thrive better in that new environment. So I feel like that's kind of what 2022 was for me, you know, with becoming a homeowner for the first time, traveling a lot, there's just so many milestones and so many other events that had happened that has really kind of pushed me to grow in a way that I can't even explain and just motivate me to be a better version of myself. I'm really excited for 2023. I have so many things planned for myself and also so many things planned for you guys. I'm excited and I'm just so thankful for all that 2022 has brought. Uh, but also comment one thing that you would like to share with me that you're going to be working on this year, whether that's a goal or a resolution or whatever you want to call it. And also one thing that you are thankful for for 2022, whatever that has brought you. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, for sh listening to my story, and honestly being a friend. Uh, I feel like I've connected with so many people on YouTube by posting these videos, and I'm just so excited for 2023, and I hope you are too. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Dream
everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure No, not like yours Sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars 